The attack on Paul Pelosi is very concerning and very upsetting. On the personal note, this hits a little close to home. I went to high school a few blocks from where that attack happened. I've walked by that corner more times than I can possibly count. I've never been in that home, but I've certainly been in that neighborhood. I didn't grow up there, but I grew up near there. But in the larger political picture, we should be clear here. This was an attempt to assassinate the Speaker of the House. Fortunately, she wasn't home at the time. We are told that Paul Pelosi will make a full recovery. We certainly, certainly hope he does, but we don't know that for sure either. So this was a terrible, violent act, and it can only be understood in the context of escalating violence on both sides. And violence, whether it is attacking the husband of the Speaker of the House or shooting a Republican congressman at a, base, at a congressional baseball practice, is no way to solve our problems in the United States. If we continue down that road, things will get much worse. But we also should be honest enough with ourselves that we don't both sides this. There are not two sides here where the leader of both parties is encouraging violence at his rallies. There are not two sides that looked at the most violent attack on the Capitol in an extremely long time and shrugged it off as a tourist event. This violence against the Speaker of the House's husband, an attempt on the Speaker of the House's life, occurs in the context of the far right, both escalating and calling for more violence. And if we don't recognize it as that, we are not being honest with ourselves and we are not doing everything we can to save our country.